So what comes to your mind when you hear the term drug design? So designing the molecule, small molecule for the protein or an enzyme to see how well it interacts, we need molecular docking softwares. There are several force field, force field and physics based methods out available already, like which includes DOG, Autodog, Gold, Flexi, Glide, MOE, ACM and so on. Some of them are commercial and some of them are academic free. There are many academic free virtual screening softwares like Vina and Ina and also are also available. Artificial intelligence penetrated deep into all the walks of our life. It didn't leave molecular docking also. So molecular docking also has a deep learning methods which is very upcoming and a lot of new papers are published. I list some of the important methods which are which will be the game changer in near future. The first one is EQBind, which is a geometric deep learning based uh, method. So it uses deep learning to align set of points of a protein with the corresponding points of the ligand. As you can see in the figure, uh, it says how it works. First, it uses the R decade confirmer, which generates based on the R decade and the receptor structures. Then uh, EQBind may try to map it with the uh, predicted binding site and then it works like Tank bind is the subsequent method of EQBind or else you can say it's a further extension um, which based on the trigonometry of our neural networks uh, to find the drug protein binding structure prediction. So it evaluates the docking process across the multiple sites on the protein and it choose the highest scoring pose as you can see in the figure like how it works for predicting the binding site. So this is another method, that's what I can say, like uh, which is the further improvement of the EQBind. Because EQBind, the first method which I discussed in the deep learning area, which improves the speed, but uh, the accuracy is still in the question. Uh, so there's another method called E3Bind. This is, uh, as the name says, it's like end-to-end -end equivariant network to produce the coordinate update. So you can see here, it also uh, generates graphs based on the small molecule, the protein structure. Then, then again, the, uh, the coordinates are uh, more iteratively updated. And then we try to predict the dog lag and coordinates. The latest addition in this space is diff dog. Um, I, uh, it's also a deficient dog, like uh, it is more promising among the deep learning methods available so far. So in this work, like uh, the model takes the input uh, as a separate thing, entity like ligand and protein. Then it uh, randomly sample the initial process uh, via the reverse diffusion over uh, all the sites like uh, uh, XYZ, you can say, or you can say rotational, torsional, de uh, translational degrees of freedom. The sample poses are ranked by uh, a confidential model to produce the final prediction and the confidence score, as you can see here. So deep docking, maybe you might have heard of this one, like it's uh, uh, equivalent of uh, Vina or the Hustavius and the Glide. Like uh, when you when you want to screen a large database, in fact, ultra large databases, like I mean, if you want to screen when you have millions of compounds, so how do you screen using deep learning methods? So training all these molecules and to search on by one will takes time, right? So deep docking uses the approach of uh, uh, initially the, it's randomly sampling from the la ultra large databases and based on the small uh, uh, sample of molecules, it uses, uh, it validates and it trained and tests it and then do the virtual screening. Actually, I can say this is not a, a independent uh, 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 deep learning method. It is a hybrid method. It uses the some of the classical methods like you can combine it with Vina or with the Clyde or other uh, methods to do the initial uh, docking. So this is how this uh, second iteration works. Like uh, first the dog to small uh, sample of molecules were further improved and then the predictions using the uh, the QSR descriptors calculated for the large database, then update the virtual kits, and then it will keep on looping, try to get the top scoring molecules, and it will be right. So the another entry in this field is deep dock. It is based on the geometric uh, deep learning method. It's capable of predicting the binding conformation. Uh, it, this model learns a statistical potential based on the distance likelihood, which is tailor-made for each ligand target pair. 
this potential can be coupled with global optimization algorithm to reproduce experimental binding confirmation of the ligands. Thank mm -hmm. you.